Hello and welcome to the sheet day. I am Zan, your IELTS instructor. Well, today we're going to have a look at a flowchart. Well, uh, flowcharts are quite easy for people. These are actually linear equations or linear cycles because they go down and down and down in a line, not cyclical. We'll have a look at the cyclicals too. And they talk about a process that starts at one end and finishes at the other. Well, you know the process already. The first thing that we need to look at is the question itself. And after the question, we'll have a look at the flowchart. The question says, let me read it for you. The flowchart illustrates the production of colored plastic paper clips in a small factory. Write a report for a university tutor describing the production process. So we have to describe the production process. Now, if you have a look at the flowchart, the first thing you need to pay attention to is where does it start, where does it finish, and how many steps are there. That's really important. Why is it important? Because you need to write that in the overall. So, if you have a look at this, first let's go through what do we have here. On the top, you have molten plastic. After that, you have molds, red, blue, and yellow molds. This is where the molten plastic goes. And then from there, it goes on to the next step. That is quality control. So imagine quality control. What does it do? So for example, if uh, just, just uh, a bit of information for most of you, when you buy anything, electronics, there's always a QC sticker there. It says quality control passed. It means the product that you bought has gone through a quality control. So coming back to it, it means now, what you've learned from this quality control thing is that you need to have a product if you want to have a quality control. If there's no product, there's no quality control. So this is something you need to infer logically from what's given here. Okay, so it means from the molds, you've already got the product that is colored plastic paper clip. That's why it's going through a quality control. So the quality control says machine check for strength. Now, machine check, what does it mean? It means there's no human involvement. There's a machine doing that. And when a machine does that, we call it automatic. For example, we have the ATMs. What is an ATM? What does ATM stand for? Come on, you have five seconds. Go answer it. So, correct. That is an automated teller machine. So, the product that is ready is now going through a quality control. Automatic. It means robots are probably doing it. We are not going to speculate in the writing. Remember one thing, in graph writing or in report writing, you cannot speculate. You only talk about what is given here in black and white. That's it. Okay, so after the quality control, what happens? Sort by hand. So what is sorting by hand? You sort things into their places, into mixed color paper clips and single color paper clips. And then you see with the sort by hand, you see there is a question mark. We don't need to worry about everything that's given there. What does it mean? It, I'll leave it to you guys. What does this question mark mean? Do let me know in the comments below. What does this question mark mean? But I'll just ignore that. There's no point talking about each and every point in the graph or in the flow chart. So after they've been sorted into single colored and mixed colors ones, there is a quality control again, second quality control. But this time they're checking whether they've been sorted out or classified properly into single colored and mixed colors or not. So this time we're not looking for the internal quality of the product. We're not looking for the strength or something of that sort. We're looking for is aesthetics, the external beauty of it, or the colors of it. And who is doing it? Not given. So we're not going to be bothered by that. What happens after that? Once the product has gone through it too, it is ready to be shipped. So it is boxed, packed, and dispatched. So you can use a different words. It's boxed and shipped. This is a funny information that I want to share with you here, shipping and cargo. Well, car go. You have a word car in it, but there's no car involved. It goes by ship. And shipment 
has a ship involved in it, but there's no ship, it goes by car. So, strange, but that's how it is. So, how many steps did you see there? Come on, let me know. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, I see five. So the first step is you pour the molten plastic. Molten plastic means liquefied plastic. Now this is not a step, this is the raw material that we have. And we pour it into three colored molds, red, blue, and yellow. So that's the first step. Now the second step is the quality control. It means the product is already made. When it comes out of the mold, the product is ready. So second step, quality control, the automatic one. Third step, sort, sorting manually, manually by hand. Automatic, manual, like the cars, automatic and manual. Like, uh, I don't know, in, in your country, how do you drive? So do you have right hand drive or left hand drive? We have right hand drive. We sit on the right hand side of the car, we drive on the left hand side of the road. What about you? Okay, so, uh, so here we are. Third step, sort by hand or manually, sorting it out, classifying it. Sorting the paper clips manually is the third step. The next one, quality control again, but this time for its colors. The last one, well, packing and dispatching. So that's the last one, five steps for me. For you, I don't know. So for every, we have five steps, we need to talk about them separately, and you need to talk about things, like there are five steps to so talk about every step separately. You can't say after that, after that, after, no. It starts with the raw material that is molten plastic poured into three different colored molds. We don't have to talk about every single part now, red, blue, yellow, because we need to write a report and we have to summarize. Remember, we have to write a minimum of 150 but a maximum of 180 words if you write around 200 200 plus that's not good and some examiners believe that if you write 50 words extra you're gonna lose 0.5 bands and if you write a hundred words extra you're gonna lose a band so and that's from a very credible source for one of the British Council trainings so I wouldn't risk writing 200 words in the graph 180, 85 maximum, that's it. I'm not going above that. If your teacher tells you to do it, well, good enough. I won't. So, 150 to 185 words. So we have to summarize things. We don't have to talk about every single thing. So I'd go with, the whole process starts with, or the process, the process starts with, initiates with, process initiates with the molten plastic, the raw material being poured into three different colored molds from which the plas colored plastic paper clips come out. And in the second stage, stage, in the second stage, I didn't use the word after that, in the second stage, the paper clips formed go through an automated quality control for their strength. If they live up to the standards, they pass. If not, they're rejected. If they live up to the standards, they pass the test. So, in the following step, now I've used the word step for the first time. In the following step, the paper clips are sorted manually into single colored and mixed colored paper clips. After following that, in the second last phase, they go through a quality control again, but this time for their aesthetics instead of internal quality. Or internal qualities. If they had been, if they've been separated properly into single and mixed colors, the product is ready to be boxed and shipped, which is the final phase. Or in the final round, the, or in, because we've used the word stage, step and phase, so we use the final round. In the final round, or the process finishes with, seizes at. Now, finally, is another word that you can use finally the paper clips formed are boxed and shipped that's it we're done so that was the body part that we actually talked about now what do you have to do in the introduction you already know the thing you have to paraphrase the 
question which is given to you. And the question says, the flow chart illustrates the production of colored plastic paper clips in a small factory. The flow chart, instead of the flow chart, you can use the word infographic. The infographic and the study, there it says illustrates, so you could say, the, flow, uh, the infographic and the study demonstrates the manufacturing of colored plastic paper clips in a small scaled manufacturing unit instead of a factory. Overall, there are five steps involved in the production of the paper clips. Because that's what we need to talk about. When, you talk, when you're talking about the flow charts, in the overall, talk about how many steps are there. And if you think you don't have enough words, you can even start, you can even talk about how many steps are there, starting with this and finishing with that. But if you think you have enough to write about later, then how many steps are there is more than enough in the overall. And then you go on and talk about the steps that we've just talked about. That's the end of it. At the end, you can write a conclusion if you want to. And if you don't write a conclusion, still, it would be okay. The conclusion would be something of this sort. From the raw material to a finished product, the paper clips go through, through, go through two quality controls. That's it. So I hope you have a better idea of how to describe a flowchart now, and you'd be able to describe them. Okay, just for information, whenever you're writing a graph, remember, you have 20 minutes for it and it makes up one third of the score of your IELTS writing part. So you just have 20 minutes for it. Spend the first five minutes planning, then the next 10 to 12 minutes writing, and the last three minutes checking, okay, or two minutes checking. You can write a minimum of 150 words and a maximum of 180, 85. I've been to some British Council trainings and uh, I've heard from a trainer who said that if you write 50 words more than the norm or the minimum number of words allowed, and that can go against you. You may lose 0.5 band because of the 50 extra words. If it's 100, you lose a band. So I wouldn't recommend you writing too much. 185, perfect. 150, 280, 85, that's it. Don't write more than that. Thank you.